Well, hello everyone. This is Mark Levesque with Forest Glory Ministries, uh, coming to you with another lesson for our T4T training for T4T uh, from our T4T manual. Today, we're going to talk about the four elements of the of the church. They're they're basically a healthy church has four elements going on involved in the in the church. The church, by the way, is not a building. The church are the people of God, and the church is what Jesus Christ uh, called out to bring forth His kingdom into the earth. The Lord Jesus Christ's main purpose, the very first thing he preached and what he covered throughout his ministry was the kingdom of God. And he ordained the church, his church, his people, his people he's called out from the world to actually have dominion in the earth, to actually, to actually further his kingdom, bring his kingdom into manifestation in the earth. Jesus gave, he gave Adam and Eve dominion in the garden over the earth. They lost it. When Jesus came back, he came and brought that dominion. And he ordained his church, which is called the ecclesia, the ones called out to rule. The word ecclesia means the, those that rule on behalf of the, of the king. It was actually the Sanhedrin who ruled in Jer Jerusalem. They are a form of ecclesia. The, the, uh, the people that ruled, like the governor, Pontius Pilate in, in Israel, would have been a member of the ecclesia. He was, he was called out to rule on behalf of Caesar. And so we, the church of Jesus Christ, are called out to rule in the earth in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and to further his kingdom. So the church has four main elements, and that's a healthy church. One of the things that uh, at the top of the cross here is the church itself. The church are the, the local believers in an area that gather together, usually once a week on Sunday, but they those people are the church of Jesus Christ in that community. At the bottom of the cross are the festivals, which are a form of a Pentecost. Pentecost was the day the church was born, and it was a drawing point for people in the community to come to one place, and 3,000 people were saved that day. The festivals are large gatherings in a community that bring more people together, that shows a larger expression of the church in a city, in a community. The festivals are a point where other people can be invited to receive Christ. Christ. And so it's a way to expand the church. It helps create church unity. And it helps give us an opportunity to share the training for trainers, T for T principles, with more leaders of churches. Another very important aspect of the church is that we go out and we share. You know, I, as a pastor, I, I asked many people to come to church. But Jesus didn't say, come to church. He said, go out. He said, all authority in heaven is given to me. Go you, therefore. As we go, that authority of Jesus Christ transfers to us as we go out into the community. So we go out in the community. We prayer walk the community. We pray. We go out two by two, as Jesus did. And we pray over the homes in the community. And what's amazing is we start to, as we pray over homes in the community, we begin to see people that we run into. The Holy Spirit's leading us to them. And then we have the opportunity to share Jesus with them, lead them to Christ, and then we bring them back to a discipleship group, a T4T -T disciple making group. That's on the right hand side of the cross there. And that's another important aspect of, of uh, Jesus's ministry. Jesus spent most of his time with his 12 apostles. Every leader of the church, every top leader, should have the other leaders in their group being discipled in a group. And those leaders should have their own disciple making group. And so, and those leaders should have their own disciple-making group. And that's how, that's how discipleship spreads. And as these people go out and prayer walk neighborhoods, as they share with their family and friends, more people come to Christ. The more we go out and share, the more people come back to church. The more disciple-making groups we have, the more access points there are for more people to come to Christ. And so the church itself begins to grow and multiply as we have more and more discipleship groups, as more and more people go out into to the community and prayer walk and share with others. So these are the four essential elements of the church, a healthy church. And that's one of the things that we really stress during our workshops where we share the Train for Trainers T for Team model. We call it Kingdom Movement, Movement Training because it's training people on how a movement is launched and how the kingdom of God comes into manifestation in this world. So this was another uh, training uh, session on our T for T uh, Kingdom Movements and on our T for T workshops. I hope you enjoyed it. Look for another lesson coming soon. Thank you. This is Mark Levesque from Forest Glory Ministries. By the way, you can find more information on our website at forhisglorymin.org.